Polyphemus is a character from Greek mythology who is best known for his appearance in Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey. He was one of the Cyclopes, a race of one-eyed giants who were known for their strength and brutish behavior. Polyphemus is described as a large and powerful creature, with only one eye in the center of his forehead. He is often depicted as a violent and uncivilized creature, with a short temper and a penchant for eating humans. In addition to his appearance in the Odyssey, Polyphemus appears in several other ancient Greek works. In the Argonautica by Apollonius of Rhodes, Polyphemus plays a key role in the adventure of the Argonauts as they quest for the Golden Fleece. When the Argonauts come across the island of the One-Eyed Giants, they are immediately greeted by the angry and violent Polyphemus, who demands to know their purpose. The Argonauts explain that they are on a quest for the Golden Fleece and ask for Polyphemus' help in finding it. However, Polyphemus is suspicious of their motives and refuses to assist them. He instead challenges the Argonauts to a battle, eager to prove his strength and power. A fierce battle ensues, with the Argonauts struggling to fend off Polyphemus's massive strength and size. However, with the help of their leader Jason and the goddess Athena, the Argonauts are able to outsmart Polyphemus and defeat him in battle. With Polyphemus defeated, the Argonauts are able to continue on their quest for the Golden Fleece. The encounter with Polyphemus serves as a reminder of the dangers and obstacles that await the heroes on their journey, but also highlights the importance of courage, strategy, and teamwork in overcoming these challenges. In Hesiod's Theogony, Polyphemus is not a major character, but he is mentioned briefly in the context of the mythological lineage of the Cyclopes. According to the poem, Polyphemus is the son of Poseidon and the nymph Thozo, making him a powerful and fearsome creature with godly parentage. While Polyphemus does not play a central role in the narrative of Theogony, his presence adds to the richness and complexity of the world of Greek mythology. As a son of Poseidon, he is closely connected to the sea and its mysteries, and his brutish and violent nature reflects the harsh and unforgiving environment of the ancient Mediterranean. Furthermore, the mention of Polyphemus in Theogony serves as a reminder of the broader context of Greek mythology, with its intricate webs of genealogy and mythology, and mythology that connect seemingly disparate characters and stories. In the play Cyclops by Euripides, Polyphemus is the central character, and his story is depicted with all the excitement and drama of a classic Greek tragedy. In the play, Polyphemus is portrayed as a drunken and lustful creature who falls in love with the nymph Galatia. He becomes jealous when he sees her with the shepherd Axis and kills him with a boulder, leading to Galatia, turning him into a rock. The play opens with Polyphemus returning to his cave after a night of heavy drinking. He discovers that a group of sailors, including the famous Greek hero Odysseus, have landed on his island and taken refuge in his cave. Polyphemus is immediately hostile and violent, threatening to eat the sailors and making crude advances towards their female companions. As the play progresses, Polyphemus becomes increasingly obsessed with the beautiful nymph Galatia, who he believes is his rightful mate. He becomes jealous and enraged when he sees Galatia with the shepherd Axis, and in a fit of rage, he kills Axis with a boulder. The final act of the play sees Galatia, aided by the chorus of satyrs and nymphs, turn Polyphemus into a rock, 
punishing him for his violent and lustful behavior. One of the most famous stories involving Polyphemus is his encounter with Odysseus and his men in the Odyssey. In this story, Odysseus and his men seek refuge in Polyphemus's cave, only to be trapped by the giant. Polyphemus proceeds to eat several of Odysseus's men, leading the hero to come up with a plan to escape. Odysseus tricks Polyphemus by telling him his name is Nobody, and then blinds him with a sharpened stake and a burning ember while he is sleeping. When Polyphemus realizes what has happened, he calls upon his father Poseidon to seek revenge on Odysseus, leading to many challenges for the hero on his journey home. Overall, Polyphemus is an important figure in Greek mythology who represents the dangers of encountering the unknown and the importance of using wit and intelligence to overcome challenges. He is often depicted as a violent and primitive creature, but also has moments of vulnerability and even humor in some stories.